It was a little cooler today, but at least we had a lot of sunshine outside, uh, which at least made it feel a little warmer, at least on my skin when you're outdoors and not nearly as windy as what we, it was yesterday. We did make up to 46 this afternoon in Lincoln, which is still well above normal, and that's continues our trend this month of above normal temperatures. We are now running 10.6 degrees above normal per day, and this is the warmest start to December, or at least the warmest December to date since 1939. And if you go back even further than that, uh, this is the third warmest December to date on record. Temperature wise around Lincoln, we've got temperatures a little cooler at the airport down to 33, but it's 36 degrees at East Campus, 38 degrees along Yankee Hill Drive on the south side and Denton Road, 37 degrees on the southwest side of town. Heading further south, 35 right now in Beatrice, it's 38, I make that 38 in Fairbury, 36 in Hebron, 37 degrees in Friend, down to 33 in Columbus, same in Kearney as well as is in Grand Island. Just a little bit of wind outside, not a lot, but enough to produce a bit of a wind chill in some spots. It's feeling like 32 York, and upper 20s in Grand Island, Kearney, as well as in Columbus. Now our temperatures tonight will drop uh, initially up to probably about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. We'll start to see some mid to high level clouds beginning to move into the area. And as that does so, I think our drop will, st uh, will steady, will hold steady as we go through the morning hours up through right around sunrise. Now there's not a whole lot going on near us, or I mentioned some clouds back out to the west. Yesterday's cold front that's now bringing rain uh, to east of us is now, uh, showers are falling anywhere from West Virginia back towards Arkansas right now. So things are going to stay quiet for the next several days. We're not dealing with any more storms or any big winds coming our way. Our next chance for some stronger winds, nothing like yesterday, but probably 30 miles per hour plus will come in starting on Sunday. Now for the rest of this evening, we'll see our temperatures dropping quickly down into the 30s. I think eventually we will drop down in the mid 20s by midnight, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And then we'll either hold steady or slightly rise. As we get to 8 o'clock tomorrow, we'll keep the clouds still in place. Skies becoming partly cloudy as we head towards the afternoon. By noon, temperatures in the upper 30s to right around 40. And much the same towards tomorrow afternoon. We'll be very close temperature wise to today. 45 is what I'm forecasting in Lincoln, 45 in Seward, 42 degrees in Columbus, and 46 degrees for a high temperature in Beatrice. Now, Saturday will be a cool day around here. In fact, it's likely to be the coldest day of the next. 10. We're talking temperatures only topping out in the upper 30s. And for some of you, it may struggle to reach the or get out of the upper 20s into the low 30s. Now, Saturday morning, cold. We'll be down into the teens. With clear skies through the day, we'll see clear skies Saturday night into Sunday morning. And that's going to set us up for a very cold morning. I think at least at the Lincoln Airport, we could drop down to as much to as low as maybe five degrees. And then uh, outlying areas, probably low teens. Now, we want to mention Hans Gutenhofer. I wasn't here last Friday, so I couldn't mention uh, we had another conference call this week so kids tune in tomorrow for the five o'clock newscast I'll tell you what the latest is up on North Pole flight operations getting ready for Christmas 32 degrees for high Saturday 47 Sunday after that really cold morning turns a little windy with winds out of the south 42 degrees on Monday we start warming things back up for Tuesday after another morning cool temperature of 17 degrees near 50 degrees Wednesday afternoon and right now for Christmas Eve things are looking fine 44 degrees that are mostly sunny skies and Christmas Day not looking bad either with a high temperature of 45 no issues as far as rain or snow at this point so things are looking pretty good for flight operations next Friday night. Oh,